Hi everyone, welcome to Kristen Kelly TV. I'm your host, Kristen Kelly. So, I would just like to say thank you so much for everybody who has been liking my videos, who's been commenting, and who's been subscribing. So, I got so many new subscribers and I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you guys so much. So, I decided that I would do a special story time for you, a special Bad Girl Club story time for you. And I think you guys are really gonna love this story because I don't think that this has really been talked about ever. Um, I know that Amber, I do not know her last name. She was kind of like the heavy one who her boyfriend was that black guy who looked like um, Predator, I think Natalie said. So I know that, I do not know her last name, um, but I know that she had said something about it like on a live video. Once again, like sorry for all the noise, I have a baby, I have a man, I have two cats, three dogs running around the house, so sorry about all the noise. But um, so she, I know she did on a live, she had talked about it for a second, like she had said like, oh, Kristen from um, season five, she got beat up by Ashley from like season three, I, I don't know exactly what she said, um, but other than that, no one has like really talked about this. So I decided that I was gonna do a story time for you guys. This is gonna be a really long story time. So get yourself a drink. I'm of course drinking my um, wonderful Dunkin' Donuts. Not sponsored, wish it was. God, that'd be like such an amazing sponsorship, right? Um, so yeah, so. There are so many details in the story, so like, let's just start from the beginning. So, I do not even know what year this was. This was so long ago, but let me kind of do like a little bit of before this story starts. So, Ashley from season three, I never, okay, so I didn't really watch The Bad Girls Club before I was casted on it. I was at my friend Tara's house and she was actually going to work and she was like, oh, you should watch this show. It's called The Bad Girls Club. It's so great. Like you would be perfect on this show. She was actually the one that I never even heard of the show before. And so I was like, okay. So I had watched like maybe three or four episodes before I was cast. And honestly, saying that is even a lot because I don't even know if I saw three or four episodes. Um, but one of the ones that I did see, it had her on it. And she, this is like all I remember from the episode, is that she met this guy who was from, I think his name was Joey, and he was from the real world. And she met him and then like clearly slept with him. It like showed them like having sex, but they had sheets on them. But you could like hear them moaning, you could see them having sex. And then the next day she was like, oh no, I didn't have sex with him. And and then he said something to her about like oh you're so natural you're such like a natural beauty and she's like oh my god thank you yeah like i'm not even wearing that much makeup and as it shows her she or she was like i'm not wearing any makeup at all but she literally had like a face full of makeup like really dramatic eyebrows like almost insta eyebrows before instagram like really dramatic makeup like tons of cake face and my friend Tara and I were laughing about that because my friend Tara was like, oh, I didn't have sex with him. Eh, eh, eh. And then I was like, I don't wear any makeup. And she's like, has like a pound of makeup on. So that was the only time I really had seen Ashley. And in my defense, like she, it, like when you're watching somebody on a TV show, you're not like really like taking in what they look like. You know what I mean? Like, and to be honest, she really didn't have like that much of like standout features that it would, or, and it wasn't like I was like a fan, you know? So I really didn't like really remember what she looked like. So fast forwarding a little bit, no Instagram at this time, but there was, oh wait, no. I think Instagram maybe had just started. And, but Twitter was like huge. And she had contacted me on Twitter and she had said, hey girl, um, my, I'm, I, I don't know if it was like she worked for this place or she worked for the promoter or she knew the promoter, but she was like, will you come and do this club appearance in Las Vegas and gave me the dates. And I was like, yeah, that would be fine. Um, so this is what I need in order to, to book me. You need to send me a contract 
The contract has to state that I get picked up from the airport, I get driven back to the airport after, that I get at least two meals. If I don't get two meals, that at least you, you know, bring me some food. Um, because that's like something that like I've gone to like I've done events where they didn't have any food for me And it was like I've literally been on a plane and then there's no food, you know So you have to have food for me um, The hotel has to be at least a three-star hotel um, And what else? Oh, I get half of the payment up front Like I get a deposit before I get there and then when I get there um, I get a certain amount of cash or and then after i get the rest of it and that's like if i'm booking myself like if i'm not booking myself then my booking agent at the time what he would do is he would collect 50 percent from the person then he would give me my percentage up front and then after i would get cash so that is how like all these bookings worked out so she said to me like okay let me get back to you blah 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 and then she gave me a date for it. And then my booking agent contacted me about that same date. So I contacted her and I was like, hey, I my agent just got me booked for that same weekend. Are you sure that this is happening? If it is, I need that contract and I need my deposit. And she said, okay, no problem. So then the guy contacts me, like who she's working with. And he was like, oh, hey, like I can't give you the 50% deposit, but we absolutely are going to book you for that weekend. Like it's this big event. We really want you there. And then this girl, Ashley was just like kissing my ass nonstop. She was like, hey, Kristen, like I'm going to pick you up from the airport. You're going to stay at my house. Like we're going to have so much fun. I'm a huge fan of yours like I think you're so funny and beautiful and like amazing and we're gonna have such a great time together and I can't wait for you to come here and I was like okay well do I go with this girl from the bad girls club who I it, she's really kissing my ass at this point like telling me how much she's like wants to see me and have fun with me and blah 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 and she's like I do hair I'm gonna do your hair and like we're gonna go out and blah 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 and we're gonna have so much fun in Vegas so I was like, well, do, do I do that or do I go to like North Carolina where I don't know anybody, but I'm going to be making like $3,000, you know? So I'm like, well, what do I do? And I was making the same amount of money. Like I was going to be making the same amount of money at her event that I was at this other event. So I was like, well, okay. So I tell my agent, hey, I can't do that weekend. I'm actually booked in Vegas. Um, and he had said like, I'm going to send you the contract and I'm going to send you the deposit, like blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, okay. So... Like two weeks go by and then all of a sudden she messages, no, yeah, she messages me and she's like, hey girl, so sorry, the party's off. And I messaged her back and I was like, I gave up $3,000. I gave up working a weekend. And this was the thing is that's all I did for a living is I just did events. So I needed that money to eat and to live. So like I need to pay my rent. So I was like, are you kidding me? I was like, you told Told me I was like and this is why I told you that I needed the contract and I needed my deposit up front and she was like I'm so sorry and I was like sorry doesn't feed me sorry doesn't pay my bills like I can't believe and I was like who I was like I can't believe that you would do this and I messaged the um the guy that she was working with and I was like look I'm like you really screwed me I was like I was like, this is why I told you that I needed a contract and this is why I told you I needed a deposit. I was like, you literally messed it up so that I'm not working that weekend. I'm not, you literally took $3,000 out of my pocket and like for no reason. And I was like, this, and I was like, this is unacceptable. So I was like, I'm never working with you again. I was like, never contact me again. And that was it. So that girl, Ashley, that was the only like interaction we had was through Twitter, like DMs on Twitter. I never, I don't even know if I have her phone number. Like we never even talked on the phone. So a few years later, I am, so I'm friends with this girl. Who was the one who told me about the event? Honestly, I don't even know. So there was this big event going on for Halloween in Vegas. And I forget who, I think it was Sarah from the Bad Girls Club. Sarah, like from season three or something. Like Sarah, she was like from one of the earlier seasons. She has dark hair, not the blonde Sarah. So she contacted me and she was like, hey, there's this big event in Vegas. 
and the, we're having a ton of bag rolls there. Like it's going to be this great event. Like you should come. So I was like, okay, give me the promoter's information. So they sent me the promoter's information. I call the promoter and I'm like, hi, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, look, this is what I need in order to, um, to like, to be booked for your event. I need 50% up front of the deposit. And I was like, and I need this amount of money. And so I made $4,000 for the event and I got half up front and I, um, I told him I needed to be in the middle of the poster. Um, my name needed to be bigger than the other girls. Um, what else? Uh, I just, I just negotiated my own contract pretty much. So I had him, I sent him a contract. I had him send me that back. So, um, later on, this is actually something that I found out is that some of these girls did not even get paid. So, oh my God, what is her name? Annie. So Annie from season four, which by the way, is like such a nut job. Like there were so many girls that came to this event that I was like, I, they're just nut jobs. So that Annie girl later, we were at the, like when we were at the event, she like kind of looked like she was upset. And I was like, oh, what's wrong with Annie? And somebody was like, oh, well, I guess she didn't get paid. I was like, she didn't get paid. What are you talking about? Like we're hosting an event. Like, what do you mean she didn't get paid? And they're like, oh, well, she just assumed she would get paid. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, and then I found out all the other girls made like three to $500. I made $4,000. Like that is why you have to be a smart person. Like you need to call the promoters. You need to figure out, like you don't just like show up to a club and say, okay, give me money. No, 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 no. This is what contracts are for. This is what being a smart business person is for. So. So that happened later on. And that was like one of the like things that I was like, these girls are so stupid. Um, ridiculous. So, okay. So before going there, Amber made like one of my best friends. I was like, Amber, like, do you want to go to this event? Like, there's gonna be a bunch of bad girls. And Amber was like, honestly, all of those girls are like either trash or crazy. And it's just not going to be fun. And we also were like sharing this big suite. So that was like, yeah. So but that girl, Ashley, was like not involved in this. She wasn't in this at all. So, dude, another reason how stupid Annie is, like your picture is on the poster and you didn't get paid. Like just so stupid. Like, oh my God, everything is just crazy, this whole, this whole story. So um, I go there, I drive there with Brandy from my season and Erica from my season. So Brandy, me and Erica, we drive there together and then we drove back together. And then um, when we got there, Sarah from season three, Annie from season three, and Amber is, I don't know. No, she's from season four. The Amber from season four. And I think that may have been it. I'm not even sure. So, oh, oh, Tiffany. Tiffany, I don't even know what season she was from. Like maybe one or two. She was like from like one of the earlier seasons, maybe three, I don't know. So, I think that was it. I don't even know if there was, I don't even remember who else was there. So when we get there, like there was already like some real weirdness. So, so Amber, my friend, Amber, Amber Mead, she lived with Sarah from season three or something, the brunette Sarah, Sarah Michaels. That's it. So Sarah, so she lived with her. And then after she moved out, I moved in with Amber. And after I moved in with Amber, I had found out. So I guess Sarah and Amber were staying at a hotel with Amber's boyfriend. Amber had a, a, a flight, like an earlier flight. And then Sarah and the boyfriend were like, Amber's boyfriend, I guess, were like at the hotel for like a few hours. And then it came out later that Sarah like had sex with Amber's boyfriend and he told Amber and then Sarah was like, no, we just cuddled. Like he just got in my bed and we cuddled. Like, why are you having your friend's boyfriend get in bed with you and cuddle? Like the whole thing was so weird. And after that happened, it was weird because Sarah and I were friends. But then after that happened, I think that Sarah's guilty conscience was like, oh, Kristen doesn't like me because of the situation that happened with Amber, which I didn't really, it's not that I didn't care. It's just that I wouldn't trust her with my man, but I wouldn't, 
I, it wasn't that I did not like her, you know, it was just, it was like, whatever. It wasn't really my, my, it really did not have anything to do with me. It's like what I should say. But when I got to the hotel, I was like, Sarah. And she was like, hi. Like she was like very like cold and standoffish, which was really weird because when I was driving there with Brandy and Erica, cause they had never like met her. I was like, oh, you're gonna love Sarah. She's so funny and cool and blah, blah, blah. And it, she was like very, very weird. Like she was just like from the jump acting very strange. And I was like, all right, whatever. Um, and that girl, Annie, I had like gone to lunch with, I think like one time in San Diego, but I didn't really know her. And the other Amber, that was the first time I met her. Um, and yeah, like it was just, everyone was like, whatever. That Tiffany girl was like, so on a power trip. Like she had brought an, it was like, it was like she brought every single Louis Vuitton bag she owned so that she could look like she had a lot of money. I'm not even joking. It was so bizarre. She literally brought like all of her expensive bags and like laid them out like next to her bed. Like almost like, why would you need to bring 16 like bags for a weekend? You know what I mean? Like it was just so weird. Like it was just such like a, oh, okay, like thing. So, um, like from the beginning, I just felt like everybody was kind of, like everyone was kind of weird. Like it was almost like people were acting like there were cameras there when there were no cameras there. Like, does that make sense? Like it was almost like everybody was being more dramatic than was like necessary about things, about really small things. Um, just very strange. Like it was like really weird. So like at one point I had asked Erica to borrow a pair of jeans and she was like, yeah, sure. So I borrowed a pair of jeans from Erica and I noticed that she had this dress and I was like, is that my dress? So I thought that Erica took my dress without asking. And I like called my roommate and I asked her, my roommate was like, no, 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 your dress is here. So somebody, one of the girls had heard me on the phone and literally ran to Erica. No, or like ran around and told everybody like, oh my God, like Erica stole Kristen's dress. And then went and told Erica. And then Erica was like, Kristen, why would you think I stole your dress? And I was like, I just saw it and didn't remember if I had brought it or not. And I called my roommate, like, I'm sorry, but I literally called my roommate. It wasn't like I went and accused her, you know? Like it was very weird. Like everybody was just being so overly dramatic about everything. So I was sharing a room with, Brandy. And can I just say that Brandy is like one of the most toxic and crazy people I've ever met. She had done an interview and some, like, I know a lot of people had sent me like clips from the interview and stuff, but I gotta be honest with you. Like Brandy is just such a psychopath that nothing she says is true. And she's very delusional. Like she's very, very delusional. She's an alcoholic. Like she's always drinking. And I don't mean that like Oh, she's always drinking. I mean, she's really always drinking. Like, it's like sad. Um, like she wakes up and has like an orange juice and vodka every day. Like that's just like who she is. And when we were in this room, so I, it was funny because I had gone to the ATM and I took out a certain amount of money for cabs because at the time you could only pay for cabs and cash. And when you're with a lot of people, you know, it can be like, oh, here's 10, here's 10 or something. So I went and I got a bunch of money for, um, what's it called for cabs. So I took that money and I had put it in my bag in this like little pocket and she saw me and I saw her see me put my money in the pocket, which was so weird because it was almost like she was looking and I was like, like, what are you looking at? So then I went to the bathroom, I did some stuff, we walked around and then we got into a cab and we went to pay the cab and my money is gone. And I was like, someone stole my money. And literally everybody made like it to be such like a, I misplaced my money thing. And I was like, no, I literally just got my money, put it in my pocket, put it in this little pocket in my bag and it's gone. And I knew it was fucking, I knew it was Brandy. So I made this big deal. I was like, well, I don't have any more money. I was like, that's all the money I have. Like I made it so that they thought that that was all the money I brought. That was all the money I had because I didn't want, like I wanted my money back. So I was like, okay, if somebody wants to steal my money, fine. Then I'm not paying for anything. I'm not paying for any cabs. I'm not paying for anything so we went to eat and at this point I was like so mad because one of these girls stole my money I thought it was Brandy but I really couldn't be sure um so we, get, we go to eat and everybody's like talking about stuff and I said something like to the point of 
well, I'm not splitting a bill with any of you. I'm getting my own bill. But I think the way it came out was that they thought I wasn't paying at all, which like, I don't know why, why would I go to eat and not pay at all? But that's how, I'm not sure because we were drinking, we were in Vegas. I'm not sure if it was the way that I said it because everyone seemed to think that. Um, and then later, like when they had gotten the bill, the lady would be like, oh, do you want your own bill? Like on your own thing? And I was like, yes, thank you so much. So I'm not sure like what they were all thinking. Um, and then I had, somebody had mentioned like, oh, like when do we get paid? And I was like, oh, well I got paid my um, deposit already. And they all were like, you got paid a deposit? And I was like, yeah, of course. Like I'm not gonna come out to an event without getting a deposit. And none of them got deposits. And they, after I said that, it was like, they all were so like jealous and mean and just like hated me because they knew how, they, they just knew that I was more professional than them and that people would come to see this with me before they would come to see them because I was in an earlier season. I mean, I was in a season that more people knew. I was a bigger star than them. And they really like, it was at that point that just the jealousy really started coming out. So we go to the event and at the event, the event was great, but everybody that came wanted to see me. There was this huge line of girls that wanted to see me, take pictures with me, like gay guys. Like everybody wanted to see me, talk to me, take pictures with me. All the other girls just sitting there and like nobody was coming up to them. Like a few people here and there would come to say hey to them, but it was like a lot of people were there to see me and really not that many people were there to see them. So, um, the event itself was fine, but I really could tell that people were like really jealous and it was kind of like you, I could just tell that everybody was very jealous and very weird. Um, so we had gone to the sugar factory and they gave me like a free, like the lollipops with the glitter on it and like a free gift basket pretty much of stuff. And they kind of gave the other girls like a few things and I think it was cause they felt bad for them. And one of the things they had is they had these like stickers that you put on your lips and it like will make your lips like a certain design. So there was a rainbow and there was a heart one. And I was like, oh my God, I don't know which one to get. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get the heart. And R Brandy got the rainbow. And I even said to her later, I was like, oh, I was like, maybe I should have got the rainbow. I was like, oh, whatever, the heart's so pretty too, blah, blah, blah. So then that'll come up later in the story about why Brandy is just like, like capped in the head. So the next day, like after this event, um, oh, oh, and then also Erica had a friend, had two friends, it was a gay guy and it was this girl. And they had like, I think they were staying at the same hotel, but they weren't like with us, but they were so cool. Like we took a limo, like one of them had like a limo and we went to like Spearmint Rhino, which is this like huge, um, strip club in Vegas, which I think actually Leah worked at. I don't know if she still works there. I'm not sure if Leah's an escort or just a stripper, but Natalie from season four, she had a cousin or has a cousin whose last name is Nunn, like first cousin, who worked at Spearmint Rhino in Vegas and saw Leah and took a picture of her and sent it to Natalie. And then the girl went up to Leah and was like, hey, were you from the Bad Rolls Club? Like, my cousin is Natalie. And, Natalie, and Leah was like, no, 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 don't tell her, don't tell her, you saw me. And she was like, okay, yeah, sent the picture. And then um, Natalie and I went to lunch and Natalie showed me a picture and I was like, yeah, that's definitely Leah. So I know that she was a dancer at Spearmint Rhino. I don't know if she's like still doing that at all. Um, but yeah, that's why she has like such like a big place and like always has money and stuff. Um, which is fine, I'm not putting down like sex workers at all. So, but we went to Spearmint Rhino and it was literally like one of the scariest places I've ever been in my life. Like there were these big black rapper guys that literally had money, like tons and tons of money in pyramids that were saran wrapped next to them. And then there were these like strippers that literally were like sitting, like they just, and this was like Halloween. So they're all in costumes and they're like sitting like this like just like looking at us walk by and I'm like excuse me pardon me pardon me ma'am pardon me excuse me like it just looked like these just these people just looked crazy and it was so crowded and the girls looked so scary like it was just nuts and then there was like gunfire at some point like there was like it, it, it was nuts okay so but the point is is that like we had to we were there for a few days you know we did some fun stuff so 
we went out to this club and earlier in the night everybody had eaten and I didn't eat I like wasn't feeling well so everyone ate I didn't eat we went to this um, nightclub and I really just wasn't feeling well one of the girls she had some friends that had come and they were like a bunch of like very douchebaggy guys and I just didn't want to talk to them I really wasn't feeling well and one of the guys had said to like Annie like oh your blonde friend is like really like a bitch or said something about how I had a bad attitude and I wasn't even talking like I was just like sitting there like because I didn't want to ruin anyone's night but I was just sitting there and then I was like okay I'm really hungry so I said I was like can we get food like can we please get food like I kept asking everybody I was like can we get food can we get food can we get food so we finally like oh oh so when we were there at the club no it's a it's a nightclub so it's loud it's dark you know, there's a lot of people, you're drinking. So that girl, Ashley, from season three, she, three, right, yeah. So she had come and and met everyone. So I guess she, she knew some of the girls because some of the girls from her season were there. I did not know exactly what she like looked like. And when I saw her, I really just saw this like white brunette girl. I really, it didn't even like, stick in my mind like that that was Ashley from Bad Girls Club like I really had no idea and this is something like little side note that people from reality shows a lot of times have these really inflated egos and think that everyone knows them when it's like no you were just this person on a reality show one season it's not like you're from Jersey Shore you know and like I had met somebody from the real world once and she was like I'm so and so she's like I do the same thing you do and I was like you do what? And she was like, I'm from road rules and the real world and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, like, I have no idea who you are. Like, there's just, there's just like very egotistical way that like a lot of reality show people are. Um, like, like you should know them, you know what I mean? So I had seen her talking to our group, but I really didn't even like realize that was her. And then we went and got McDonald's after. So I'm sitting there and I'm eating my McDonald's and I'm so hungry. And she's literally staring at me. Like there's two tables of us and she keeps staring over at me. And I'm just sitting there like, honestly, just, I felt so sick and I just wanted to eat. So I'm eating. And then she said like, like Erica had said something to me and I said like something to Erica and she copied what I said. She was like, eh, nah, 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 nah. and I was like, do you have a problem? Like, what is wrong with you? And she was like, do I have a problem? And I was like, I don't even know you. Like, why do you keep staring at me? And why are you mocking me? And she was like, fuck you, you fucking bitch. And I was like, I'm sorry. I don't know who you are. Do you want an autograph? And she takes her drink and throws her drink in my face, like blinding me, grabs me by my hair and starts punching me in the face. So, and this girl was like so big, like I'm 5'4", I would say that she was, I don't even know, maybe like 5'9", and at least 60 pounds, at least, at least 60 pounds more than me at the time. And she's punching, so she blinded me and then is punching me in the face. So I like kicked her leg, so I kicked her leg from under her, so, but when she fell, she still had a hold in me. So then we were both on the ground and nobody did anything. Like none of the other bad girls did shit. And she was, so she's like punching me in the face. And I really like, I couldn't defend myself. So then some, somehow she gets away from me and the security guard runs over and like my whole face was black and blue. And so then she like ran off. So then when we get back to the hotel, like all the other girls, all of a sudden it was like, I had done something like Sarah was like, how dare you have started that fight? I was like, I was sitting eating. I didn't start any fight. I don't even know that girl. And they were like, that's Ashley from season three. I'm like, I don't, I didn't know that. And then I was like, why would she attack me? Like, is this because of Twitter? Like I didn't even do anything wrong in that. I just told her she was unprofessional, you know? Like she cost me $3,000. So I get into this like, so just in general, everybody, oh, and that Tiffany girl was like so starved for attention that she was like, she, she was just so much. Like I can't even tell you how irritating that girl was, but um, just very jealous and like weird. So then all of us, so I'm like, why would that, like, 
why would that happen? Blah, blah. So that Tiffany girl talked to Ashley and said that, yes, it was because of, so the next day, Tiffany talked to Ashley and Ashley said that it was indeed because of the Twitter incident um, because she felt like I was in some way disrespectful to her when I told her that she cost me money, you know? And then she said that she was really high on drugs. She's like, I was doing coke all night. I was doing ecstasy. And I was just really like out of my mind. And Kristen looked so beautiful. And I was just like, I wanted to be friends with her. And you know, when she just acted like she didn't know me, it really just like sent me off. So that's why she attacked me because she's like a jealous fan pretty much. So um, after that happened, like, I, like I really started just like, I was just like, screw these girls. Like I don't even want to be here. I don't want to talk to these girls, blah, blah, blah. So the next day I, I there was like a football game that was on. And the thing with me and Erica is Erica and I never really got along in my season because on my season, if you saw it, the second I walked into the house, she was like very mean to me. So we really never got along in my season. But when, so we were watching this football game together and I was like, I don't really know much about football. And she's like into football. She's like screaming at the TV. She's like, she's like screaming about this football game. And I'm like, can you like tell me more about football? So she's like telling me about football. She's explaining the game to me. She's explaining the players to me and we're talking. And I'm like, you know what? She's like pretty cool. And then Erica's two friends, this gay guy and this girl, the ones with the limo, they were there and we're all just like talking and stuff. And I was like, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then um, I was talking to the girl, Erica's friend. And we were just like, this is literally what we were talking about. So we were talking about how in Los Angeles, you have to wear sunglasses because it's so bright that when you're driving, you're almost blinded because of the sun. So like wearing sunglasses in LA isn't even like a fashion thing. It's really like a necessity. So like me and this girl are literally talking about sunglasses. Like I remember what we were talking about because it was so like weird what happened next. So I'm like, yeah, I'm like, you know, you, it's so crazy how you need sunglasses in order to drive because it's like so bright in LA, blah, blah, blah. So we're talking about this. And then there's this mirror that was like, so me and this girl are talking, TV's here, and there's like a mirror. Annie, or not Annie, I'm sorry. Um, Amber from, C, from Natalie's season comes out and is clearly like drunk, comes out of this room and is like talking about me, looking in the mirror at me. And she's like, you think you're so much better than everybody else because you're gorgeous. You think you have this, uh, you think you're better than us because all the fans know you. You think you're a bad girl, like you're a fucking bitch, blah, blah, blah. Like talking about me to me, looking at me, but through a mirror. And and me and the other girl were kind of just like, like is she talking, like, because we both were like, what the hell is going on? Because she was looking through a mirror talking at me. Like it was just so bizarre what was going on. And she was like, you think you're pretty, like, cause you got a gorgeous face. Like, I'll show you what it means to be, I'll show you what it means. I'll, I'll mess up your face. Like, kind of like, like she was like in a boxing ring, but, but by herself, like, it, and I wasn't even talking to her. Like we both were just like, what the hell is going on? It was so weird. And Erica's next to me and Erica's like trying not to laugh, but at the same time, like, so Erica is like, Kristen, just don't even like talk to her. Erica was like, she's just a loser. Like, don't talk to her. And this is like, this trip was really when like, I, I realized that I actually really liked Erica. And I wish that we'd gotten along on our season because Erica's actually like a super cool person. And Erica was like, she's a loser. Just don't listen to her, you know, blah, blah, blah. So she, it was like, it was very weird. Then all of a sudden Annie comes out and Annie's like, no, no, Amber, don't. Like, no, Amber, like, don't, don't hurt her, Amber. Don't hurt her. And Annie has like her arms around um, Amber and is like pulling her back into the room. And then all of a sudden when Annie put her arms around her, all of a sudden Amber got this like burst of energy because now someone's holding her back. And she's like, I'll fucking kill you. 
and is like screaming and waving her arms. And like Erica at this point is just full blown laughing. Erica's like, what is wrong with this girl? And then the two, the gay guy and Erica's friend, like her both friends, they were both just like, like they didn't even know what was going on. They were just like, like what is happening right now? Um, it was just so bizarre. So then after that, like, it was just, it was so weird. So then when we ended up like leaving, like, you know, blah, 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 budding trails or blah, blah. Oh yeah, so another thing was that all of the girls seemed to be angry at me about the fight with um, Ashley. Like almost like I had started it, like I had instigated it. And it really, like, I had not instigated it in the slightest. So I was just like, honestly, all of these girls are just, like, jealous and crazy and, like, whatever. Um, so, yeah. And then also, when they had found out how much money I had made from the event, they all, like, that, that was, like, a tailspin, you know, like, everything. So, honestly, never tell anybody how much you make doing anything because if they make less than you, it's going to make them insane. So when we went home, when we were, like, driving back, it's me um erica and brandy so everything's fine the whole trip back everything's fine so it's like a four hour drive from you know vegas to la so when we get back so we dropped off the car at eric so i had drove my car to erica's house and brandy had been dropped off at erica's house and then we had gotten picked up and then, and then Erica had rented a car. So we were supposed to give her, we were supposed to get the car filled with gas and I totally forgot to do that. So um, when we had gotten home, like when I had gotten back to my house, um, Erica sent um, a message to me and to Brandy in like a group message. It was like, you guys left the car on E. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Completely forgot to get gas. Um, and at the time there wasn't like Venmo, I think there was PayPal, but it, like it, there was no Venmo or something. So I was like, I'm so sorry. Like I'll send you a check right away. And Brandy was like, oh yeah, like blah, 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 I'm sorry. And she was like, oh, don't worry. Like we'll meet up and smoke. And like, I got you or something. And I was like, okay. So I took a nap. And when I woke up from the nap, I, there was a message in that group message between Brandy, me and Erica. And she, it was Brandy talking to Erica, but she didn't realize that I was like in this group message, probably because she's like an alcoholic. Cause there's only three of us. And she said, oh, you know how Kristen really wanted the rainbow lip sticker? I just realized that she stole mine. And I was like, so I responded and oh, and then, and Erica never responded because Erica clearly like realized that it was like a group message. And she said something like, oh yeah, she stole mine. So, you know, she thinks she's better than all of us. And she thinks she's that, which I don't think I'm anything. I don't think I'm better than them. I mean, I do actually know I'm better than them now. But at the time I was like, I didn't, you know what I mean? Like it's like your insecurities are what's doing that to you. Nothing to do with me. So she sent in this group message like, oh yeah, you know how Kristen wanted the um, the rainbow sticker for the lips. She stole mine and like, she's such a fucking bitch and she's this and that. Like just literally spewing like tons and tons and tons of hateful stuff about me and untrue stuff. And I responded and I was like, Brandy, I didn't steal anything from you. And I'm like, why would I steal like a stupid $12 lip thing? I was like, and why would you say this, this and this and this about me? None of that's true. So she never responded. Um. But yeah, that was like, I think the last time I've had contact with her. Um, but yeah, that's my story. So Ashley from season three, she never apologized to me. And really, I don't care. She's a crazy person. Um, and just like, honestly, a loser. And all those other girls, like that Tiffany girl, crazy. That Amber girl, crazy. Annie, crazy. Like, they all just like proved how they really were like nobodies. And that trip was one of the most uncomfortable trips I have ever had in my whole life. All right, so I hope you guys like the story and please like this video, leave me any comments, please subscribe and I will have a new story for you in a little while. Love you guys, talk to you soon, bye.